imagine a city built on seven hills, its roads bustling with togas, chariots, and the echoes of a language that would shape the world. This is ancient Rome, a civilization that once conquered vast territories, but eventually met its own decline. The origins of Rome are shrouded in legend. Romulus and Remus, the twins raised by a she-wolf, founded this city in 753 BC. But Rome's true foundation lies in its strategic location and the ambition of its people. Rome was initially a monarchy, seven kings ruled, each leaving their mark. However, the seventh king, Tarquin the Proud, was overthrown leading to the birth of the Roman Republic. The Republic was a time of great expansion. Two consuls were elected annually and the Senate became a powerful political entity. Roman legions marched forth, bringing vast territories under their banner. Yet success brought internal strife. The Gracchi brothers, champions of the commoners, met tragic ends. Their deaths highlighted the growing divide between the rich and the poor. Enter Julius Caesar, a military genius with unmatched charisma. His conquests in Gaul expanded Rome's borders and his power in the Republic. The Ides of March, 44 BC. Caesar is assassinated. Rome plunges into chaos. Civil wars erupt, tearing the Republic apart. From the ashes rises Augustus, Caesar's heir. He establishes the Roman Empire and becomes its first emperor. A period of peace, the Pax Romana, begins. For 200 years the empire flourishes. Roads, aqueducts and majestic buildings are constructed. Latin literature from Virgil to Ovid reaches its zenith. But the empire's vastness becomes its weakness. Defending its borders from external threats strains the treasury and the legions. Additionally, economic troubles brew. Heavy taxation, inflation, and a reliance on slave labor cripple the Roman economy. As decades pass, leadership becomes unstable. Some emperors rule wisely, while others, like Nero and Caligula, are infamous for their cruelties. Outside the empire, new religions emerge. Christianity, initially persecuted, begins to find followers within Rome's walls. In 313 AD, Emperor Constantine legalizes Christianity. Later, he even converts, changing the empire's religious landscape forever. The empire's capital shifts. Constantine establishes Constantinople, today's Istanbul is the new capital, leaving Rome vulnerable. Barbarian invasions intensify. Visigoths, Vandals, and Huns breach the empire's frontiers, sacking cities and causing widespread fear. The empire responds by dividing itself in 285 AD. The Eastern Roman Empire with its capital at Constantinople and the Western Roman Empire centered in Rome. The West struggles. Ravaged by invasions and weakened internally, its end is near. 476 AD marks a pivotal moment. The last Western Roman Emperor, Romulus Augustulus, is dethroned by the Germanic chieftain Odoacer. The Western Roman Empire falls, but the East, later known as the Byzantine Empire, persists for another millennium. Why did Rome fall? Was it internal decay, external threats, or a combination of both? Some historians argue that Rome's vast size made governance and defense unmanageable. Others believe economic troubles exacerbated by plagues and invasions led to its downfall. The rise of Christianity also transformed Rome's cultural and social fabric, leading some to argue it played a role in the empire's decline. Regardless of the reasons, Rome's legacy endures, its laws, languages, and architectural feats still influence today's world. The empire's decline offers lessons. No matter how grand, societies can collapse if they don't adapt to changing circumstances. Yet Rome also symbolizes resilience. Its eastern half survived preserving knowledge and culture during Europe's Dark Ages. Today, when we walk through Rome's ruins or read Latin inscriptions, we're reminded of an empire that once was, its glories and its tragedies. For centuries, the Roman Empire dazzled the world with its might and culture, its rise and fall serve as a testament to human ambition and the impermanence of earthly power. As we reflect on Rome's story, one must wonder, are modern civilizations immune to such declines? What can we learn from Rome to ensure our societies thrive for centuries to come?